We're on a job trying out another light fixture. Once again, you got E blinking for earth ground. It's not connected. Whenever I turn the switch off, you'll notice that it's blinking and it's saying that everything's wired correctly now. Whenever I turn it on, it's saying that the earth is open. There's clearly a problem inside of this switch. Wiggling the switch over here back and forth ever so gently. Whenever I do it, causing different things to happen to this tester, which lets me know, one, this switch right here is bad. This is a switch that lights up. Got the switch out and it's still plugged up. And it's letting you know there is power present. Moving this back and forth, light's not coming on. And it flashes. Tester did allow me to find this potential problem that's inside this switch right here, and we're gonna go ahead and change it. We got us a new switch installed. The Romex is coming down. All the grounds are tied together. Now we can turn it on and see if we got a ground over here at the light fixture. And it still says there's an open ground. We're gonna replace this old light fixture with a new one and see what's going on. Now the ground wire is hooked to a ground wire, but that doesn't mean it's getting proper contact. If you look back in there, you can see three different sets of Romex coming in here. And we do got some live wires here, so we'll be careful with that. I can verify over here in the corner that all the copper ground wires are connected together so chances are the ground was loose over here on this light fixture anytime you encounter open wires without any sort of plug-in receptacle or light fixture hooked to it you can use this adapter to plug in your tester you take the black alligator clamp and clamp it to the black wire or hot wire then you take your red alligator clamp and clamp it to the white or neutral wire now you just got to take your tester and plug it into that adapter and turn on the switch and you can read the voltage or see if it's hooked up properly now sometimes if you're lucky a circuit breaker finder will locate the circuit breaker even if it ain't got no ground but these are not designed to do that usually you look for the flashing indicator knowing that it's going to send a signal for you to go find the circuit breaker. Now, if we can't get the ground fixed on this to where it will transmit that signal, then it's a wiring issue itself and not the circuit breaker test. Gotta make sure all the grounds are cramped and hook up our new light fixture and see if it fixes the problem. Now that I got us a brand new light fixture installed, I made certain that all the ground wires was hooked up properly. And as you can see right there, everything is working the way it should, and we do got a signal. So it's transmitting, and we can't go find the circuit breaker that goes to this. And when you first turn these on, you gotta do an initial scan over all the breakers, and then go back over it a second time, and that second time it should indicate which one of these breakers goes to the lights that you're looking for. And you can see we've got a clear winner, so this is functioning the way it's supposed to. So now we fixed the faulty light switch, hooked up a new light fixture, corrected the ground wiring, and we was able to properly locate, identify, and label the breakers for the next technician who has to deal with this. Every situation that I've used this tool, it has helped greatly. Makes repairs faster because you can easily go and diagnose a problem. You can easily go and diagnose a breaker without any second guessing. Of course, there's going to be certain hiccups along the way like we just experienced. When you run into one of those situations, you just got to dive deeper and figure out what's going on and correct the problem. If I would have reviewed this entire tool in one video, it'd be over 10 to 12 minutes long. I like testing things in the trays along the way and putting out short burst videos so you can see these tools in action. Now, if you want to check out some of the other features on this product and how it works, there's three different videos you can go check out. I'll have them linked in the description box below. Do not got an affiliate link, so with any purchase of this Kai Wheat Circuit Breaker Finder Kit, I'm not going to get any profit from it. What I want to do is help show you all what tools are available out here compared to other ones. Help save you some money, make you some money, show you how to use the tools so you're more effective at what you're doing. Don't want to be a tradesman, I want you to be a do-it-yourselfer. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, I want you to be a tradesman. Either way, you're going to be making money or saving money by investing in the right tools for the job. Now, pop that clutch, subscribe, follow along on these social media platforms, and comment down below with your feedback if you've got this tool.